Today, I'm going to give a brief introduction to the Contact 7 interface and show you how to add custom library folders to the new Content Browser view of Contact. When you first open Contact, you will see the standard Contact interface with your installed Contact Player libraries appearing on the left-hand side. These are libraries that have been registered with a serial number in Native Access. You can open the library by clicking the folder and either double-clicking a patch or simply drag and drop. You can also use drag and drop to replace a specific patch if you have more than one loaded. If we switch to the Files tab, we then see a view not unlike File Explorer or Finder, which allows us to browse through all the files on our system. If you have a library that requires contact full, it will be loaded from this window or the Content Browser view, which we will come back to later. Using this view is the same as the Libraries tab, except that you must manually navigate to the library folder and you will load patches from within the Instruments folder. If you're not sure where to find your libraries, check your default content path in the settings of the Spitfire app. If you've made changes to a patch and you want to hold on to those changes, you can save a new patch within the existing folder by clicking the Save icon in the top left. When the Save menu appears, choose Patch Only and be sure to give it a new name so that you don't write over the original patch. The Monitor and Automation tabs are both more advanced features that are out of the scope of this video. For more information on those, please see the Contact Manual. By using the buttons on the top of the interface, we can change how Contact looks. Using the rightmost button, we can switch between the full interface view and the smaller instrument view. To the left of that is the Windows tab, which will let you hide the browser, outputs, keyboard, or any other individual elements that you don't want to see. On the left, we have the new Content Browser view. From this view, we can quickly see all of our Contact Player libraries, and we can even add non-player libraries to make browsing easier. You can load a patch by double-clicking, which will bring you back to the normal interface. To add your non-player libraries to this view, click the Settings button on the bottom left of the interface. Then choose Add and find the folder that your library is contained in. Once the library has been added here, it may not show up immediately in the browser if the patches were not saved with Contact 7. To fix this, we can perform a batch resave on the library by clicking the Save icon and choosing Batch Resave. Confirm the dialog after giving it a quick read, and then select the library folder. Contact will then resave all the patches within that folder and relink the sample files. Keep in mind that once you do this, the patches will no longer open with previous versions of Contact. Once your library has been resaved, go back to the Content Browser, click the settings once again, highlight the folder in question, and choose Rescan. Now you can find the folder in this view just like your other libraries. Please note that these patches will not offer a sound demo like your Contact Player libraries will. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.